My name is Akanshu Sharma. I am a Jack and K. Hokema Associate Professor in Civil Engineering at the Lyle School of Civil and Construction Engineering at Purdue University. Definitely more than 50% of the residential buildings worldwide are non-seismically designed. And if we talk about the developing countries and the uh, coming up economies, then it could be as high as 90% of the structures worldwide. As I said, because those buildings were non-seismically designed, which means there was no considerations of earthquake taken during the design of those structures, and which means that there is a earthquake which may not be very big for the newer buildings that could be potentially quite dangerous for such buildings and could lead to collapse or very significant damage. So haunches, if we talk in the layman terms, they are like knee braces. In steel structures, we have seen at the connections, they put some sort of a bracing just to strengthen the joint. So this is a concept which we are applying from steel to reinforced concrete and not in the new buildings, but in the existing buildings. So one of the major problems in the existing structures, which are non-seismically designed, is that the failure comes in beam column joints, which is a brittle failure that leads to collapse in many cases. So the concept of haunches is that when we provide these braces at the junction, which is the beam column joint, then it uh, transfers the forces around the joint and safeguards the joint, protects the joint, and uh, induces the failure at some other stage. So that way, we can prevent the brittle failure and it can be a ductile failure at a much higher load, much higher capacities, and also higher displacements and ductility. This solution which we are developing, this has certain um, advantages over the other systems. So because the existing buildings which are running for 30, 40, 50 years, they are running facilities, it's not so easy to stop the running facilities there to strengthen them or retrofit them. So the horn solution which we are bringing up, there we connect the haunch elements with the anchors, with the post-installed anchors, which is a low invasive solution. That means we do not have to disturb the uh, general, let's say, running of the building or the structure, and we can just go and strengthen it while the building is in use. So now having said that, the permanency of the solution would be, in principle, if the anchors perform well, then the whole system will be performing also equally good. Now the anchors which we are using, they are sometimes even qualified for 100 years of life, which means it could sustain for 100 years of life, provided a decent amount of maintenance is done once in a while, go and check if they are tight enough and all those kind of things. But if everything goes well, they should be pretty permanent. If everything goes well and we are able to demonstrate it in a good way, then we are expecting that within one to two years, we might see the real world application of this a retrofit technique.